Which are the weirdest uses of RFID technology today? You are not going to believe some of them. RFID in the bathroom? H2Orb is a unique RFID-enabled water monitoring device that alerts you when your toilet is leaking or overflowing. If the sensor detects an issue, the RFID tag transmits this information to the control unit that sends out an alarm and shuts off the water supply. Athletic events RFID transponders are being used as timing systems in sporting events all over the world, including the Boston Marathon and the Ironman Championships. The finishing mat contains an antenna that is triggered the moment the RF chip that is usually fixed onto a shoe or a bike crosses it. This means super high levels of accuracy in measuring timings, especially when it's a close finish. Yummy RFID It's one thing to track rental cars, but what about tracking what you're going to eat for lunch? NutriSmart is a food tracking system that makes edible RFID tags. Markers would allow you to trace the entire supply chain behind every item in your refrigerator along with dietary or allergy information. Just put the meal on your plate and the embedded reader will analyze the food to tell you how many miles it traveled before it got there and transmit all of this data and calorie information to your phone. Human chips If you were an employee at Epicenter, a high-tech office block in Sweden, you wouldn't have to worry about carrying your building pass with you to get into office or to access the photocopy machine. That's because employees have been offered the chance to be chipped with a small RFID the size of a grain of rice inserted beneath their skin. Although it may seem like a bit much just to access all doors, Epicenter is wooing employees with the promise of paying for their meals at the cafeteria checkout counter with a wave of the hand. Did you wash your hands? One of the biggest issues in hospitals is germ control. Although you wouldn't expect doctors and nurses to forget to wash their hands, it happens often enough to have encouraged a startup called Intelligent M to create a wristband linked to an RFID reader positioned at water faucets. It tracks the number of times healthcare professionals wash their hands and sends reminders on their smartphones. Smoking up an RFID. Colorado became the first state in the United States to legalize the growth and sale of marijuana by accredited farmers. But it would be wrong to assume that it's all a hippy dippy weed fest. Each marijuana plant has to be legally tagged using RFIDs. State officials can stage surprise checks with RFID scanners to check for any missing plants. If a plant dies, farmers have to legally comply with formal processes to have it declared dead and have the RFID tag deleted from a statewide database.